In this video, we're going to set up the files app to prepare it so we can save documents to upload for the AP exam. Swipe down, search for files, select it. When it opens up, you want to tap on the three buttons. That's going to open up an edit option. And we want to turn on Google Drive. You can turn on others if you wish. We're going to select on my iPad. The basics of this are going to be the same whether you do Google Drive or on my iPad. In an empty space, go ahead and click and hold, and then an option will come up offering you a new folder. Select New Folder and give it a title. In this case, I'm going to title it AP Exam. You can title it whatever you want. With File Setup and this folder, we're now able to go into Notability, create a document, save it to this folder, and have it ready to upload for the AP exam. Now we're going to open up Notability and we're going to set up our documents. We want to make sure that we change the title of the document, so tap the note May 7th or whatever the date is that you make this and you should pop up an editing box. Give it a name that's going to make sense. I named mine Chemistry Question 1. Within the document, enter a text box, change the font to it's a little bit larger, and put your ID number for your AP exam, as well as your initials. Once you've completed that, repeat the process. Make a second document, I titled this one for question two. Put your ID, your initials, and you now have two documents for the two questions you will be asked ready to edit and upload into the files app that we did earlier. In this last part of the video, we're going to look at the practice exam that the College Board provided. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter in your ID for your, from College Board for the AP exam. In the next page, you're going to enter in your name, date of birth, email address, and agree to their terms and conditions. After that, you're going to be presented with a screen that describes different ways that you're going to be able to provide the answers to the exam. Our focus is going to be on the attach a text file or attach a photo. I'm only going to do attach a text file, but the process for attaching a photo would be the same. You'll get a screen that has begin the exam and they give you a question one. Basically, it's just a template there that has some information about what you would be expected to do on the day of the AP exam. I'm going to flip over to Notability. We're going to pull up a document. You're going to pull up a document that you had pre-made, as we did earlier in the video. We'll put some text on here. I'll do some writing. That way you have different options of answering the questions through Notability that you're familiar with and comfortable with. Once you have the answers, the key now is going to be exporting out or sharing this document to the file folder that we created earlier. You're going to go to Other Apps, double check to make sure that the format is PDF. You're going to share the doc, share the note, and you're going to sh save to file. That's the key. Your folder then is going to show up, and go ahead and just save it in that folder. And now you can go ahead and attach the res attach the response. You're going to attach it as a text file because it's PDF. It'll automatically open up into the Files app. Select it. And then you can submit.
that's it. Based on the example that they've given us, it looks like once you've submitted it, you're going to have to wait for the second question to start up. You cannot work ahead.